morning. Today I'm doing beef empanada. This is a staple on Spanish uh, households. Um, I have leftover beef from the week that I have sauteed with some um, carrots and green peas. And this is my yeast for the bread. I don't use this tool for what is supposed to be used, but I like it. it. Makes things easier. The yeast gets completely dissolved this way, and it activates it faster. If you're new here. Well, I'm new too. You know. um, I have a decent following on Instagram and on TikTok. I thought to start a YouTube channel um, sharing um, my recipes and some of the things that are in my head that are not necessarily going to resonate with anyone. But um, I'm home-based. Um, I work from the basement of my house. I'm a personal chef. I do good food. That happens to be vegan. However, uh, my business is not vegan. Um, I still have a bunch of clients. Uh, you know, they're getting there, but um, I'm not here to convince anyone. If they want a steak, I'm going to give them steak. I hope you enjoy my recipes. And um, here is my yeast for my bread that we are going to use for the beef empanada and I will see you in a bit. Once my dough is ready I'm going to knead it a little bit. I'm going to use a glove because I have a cut in the nasty finger. <laughs> It doesn't require a lot of kneading, um, but still a little bit. So fold from the exterior to the middle. And keep doing this. I like to fold it in a little ball. Now my oven, um, my oven has uh, bread proofing, but if yours doesn't, which Totally fine. Uh, you can just put your bowl back in the bowl, cover it with plastic, be there for 45 minutes. You can put a little bit of oil inside your bowl, in the dough, and there it goes. Plastic wrap, or you can just put a towel on top. I don't like to do that because um, sometimes you, you cannot control how much the dough is going to rise. And once I did it, once, just once, and it just raised it too much and it was the dough was sticking to the cloth. I didn't like it, but that's a personal, personal preference. Okay, so 45 minutes and we will be back. We have our beef empanada. No, you guys can't see it. I'm not used to this format. I'm used to the other format. It's gonna take me a little while. I'm not the fastest. In learning technology. Okay, now I'm going to cut this in two because I have two empanadas to make. And now, not half, one half bigger than the other half. This is going to be the bottom of our empanada and this is going to be the top. Okay. You see, it's really soft. This is what we're looking for. Okay. Mm. 
Now, with your hands, it doesn't matter if it breaks, okay? Because it's gonna be completely sealed at the end. Just bring it up the best you can, like this. As I said, it doesn't matter if it breaks, this is bread. Uh, now we're gonna fill it. Okay, the other, the other, for the other one. Press, put this little aside, and now we're gonna roll this little one. this don't worry too much okay you just need it to be covered do you see it hmm. as I said I'm learning this new format so be bear with me we just want it like this and now we're going to fold An egg wash now now we're gonna let it rest for uh, 25 minutes it will rise a little bit not too much um, now we're gonna bake our empanadas a uh, three seventy five for thirty five minutes. Here is our empanada. To cut a little piece so you guys can see it, and it is ready to eat. The other one, the pretty one with the seeds, is going for my client. I hope you can see it. Look at it. 